Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I will show you how to display the SQM chat data on your NetData dashboard. This tutorial will only work if you install NetData from the OpenWRT Lucy short web page or using the OPKG. If you manually download and install NetData on your own, this tutorial may not work. Alright? So I will show you everything from the SQM installation to the NetData installation and installing this custom add-on or package. All right. All right. So here is the Habanero development kit. This is the routers. And first of all, let's just log in. All right. So let's go to system and shopware. So right here, we need to update the list. After that, we are going to install SQM. So it will be SQM Lucy F. Click install and it will install all, all the core packages. Right, it's finished. Let's install net data. Now let's take a look on the net data chance at QM package. It was developed and shared by Mac. So really, really thanks to you for this wonderful package. All right, so Right here, we have the installation guide and we will need to install these call packages. So bash, call utility, timeout, CURIO, and net data. All right, so let's install them one by one. Go bash. And then call utility, timeout, And then CURL and git. All right. So if you want to use the normal git with HTTPS, you need to install the CA bundle. Or else you can try git HTTP. All right. So just copy that. Go to this one and install git http. Hit install. Get it taken longer time than usual. Let's be patient. All right, so there is something wrong. So either the package were installed or there was some error message. Never mind, let's refresh the page and let's check it. If get it installed, there no package for git. Right, so let's check it right here. Get HTTP. This will not install. Maybe we can try to do with the command line. So 192.168.10.1. Let's just log into the router. OPKG install. Get HTTP. Wait for it to finish. All right, so it say that the package will install and it up to date. So now we can log out from Lucy and log back in. All right, so now on the network, we should have SQM QoS. 
So here is the SQM management page and I'm going to set it up for ETH1, which is our one interface. All right, so click enable this instant and set the download speed. I have 250 Mbps, so it will be two five zeros and one, two, three, and the same for the upload. All right. So this one, we can just go with the uh, default configuration, hit save and apply. All right, so let's go to the system and start off and verify if the SQM will add it to the start of. So SQM, QoS, yes, it will there. All right, so now, we can go and check if net data is running by go to 192.168.10.1 and then 19999 hit enter and right here we can see a very detailed dashboard of uh, the overview of the networks so all the stuff like that but there is no SQM yet all right so we need to install it so let's take a look right here. So this is the guide for the local installation. So git clone this one. All right, just copy that. But for our case, we will just use the HTTP version. So delete the S and the link will be something like this. Then we can hit enter. Perfect. So now the next command is will be navigate to this folder. Okay, so right click to paste and hit enter. And the last step will be running the instant shift. Finish SQM chart instant, reload your net data web interface to see SQM chart. Alright, so let's refresh. And right here, we have the quality of service right here. And it is currently configured for ETH1. So it will be showing up right here. So let's run the speed test and see if the traffic is updated right here. We can see that the SQM and SQM dashboard for net data is working fine, but it is only working for the net data version that will install using the official OpenWDRT Rebel. So if you manually install the package, this tutorial may not work. In the previous videos, I have shown you how to install NetData Cloud on your x86 OpenWRT system. And in this video, I have missed one thing, which is the NetData will not automatically start when the router will reboot. So right now, the router has just been rebooted. And as you can see, the NetData will not accessible at all. So if there is one thing we can do to fix that, which is First of all, let's establish the SSH connection to the router. And then we are going to use the V command to edit the etc rc.local. Alright, and hit enter. So right here we can manually input the part to the package that we want to automatically start during the system boot. So press the I key to switch to the insert mode. And then type in the part which is slash opt slash net data slash bin slash net data and press the exe keys and columns and wq to write and click so right now we can reboot the router and wait for it to come up
the router is off now. Let's go and check the net data GUI. Perfect. We can see that the net data on the local computer was started. And we can see the line dashboard right here. And we can see the same on the net data dot cloud right here. And we have the statistic show up. All right, so just a quick video on the net data will not automatically start. So if you take a look, you can see that right here, I have the quality of service dashboard. Previously, I have installed the net data packet from OPKG and then install the SQM chart. And after that, I have removed the net data packet from OPKG and manually install the packet from netdata.cloud. So that's why I have the quality of service dashboard show up right here. But um, honestly, I have no idea how to install this if you're using the NetData Cloud's official versions. So just a quick note on this. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye.